Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can get the top n values. So top n is generally the normal scenario in any business report where you want to get the top 10 values, top 15 values, things like those, right? And I want to show you right from absolute basic to an advanced scenario where you can get dynamically the top values. So this will going to be slightly long video. So just hang in with me because we will going to clear a lot of doubt and we will going to use a lot of different functions as well as, you know, inbuilt features of Power BI or Power Query to get the desired result. Okay, so let's dive into it. And before I start, you will need the data set and one other quick information that I want to provide you. And that is this Google Sheet. So this Google Sheet is where I keep all of my video. As you can see the video title and the video link. This is to help you so that you can access any of my video very easily by coming over here and searching the video and jumping onto the video using the video link, right? So this link is present in the description. Also the data set is, uh, the link is given to this data set folder where you will find this particular data sets file, right? And that is something uh, which is having this uh, super store data set, uh, this one in the 19th row, right? Like this user is accessing right now, you can go ahead and start using it or downloading it. It has all of the others data set which I generally use or I find it and I just uh, make sure that I put it at one single place so that you can easily see it. Okay, with that information, let me go back to the Power BI. So first thing first, first thing is very basic well uh, information. So what I'll do is I will create a table after importing this orders table, right? So what it will going to have is, let's say I want to get subcategory. So this is the orders which customers are placing, right? And you have different product categories, product subcategory, product name, things like those. And there is a sales which is going on, right? Very basic scenario. Now in the filters, the first, this is the first scenario where we have this subcategory, right? So we have this subcategory over here. Here it has the information about advanced filtering, basic filtering and top end. So we're going to select the top end and it has the option of top or bottom n. So we will say top n in our case and we need top five values, right? So over here, you know, we need to specify by what value. Value means the measure. So in this case, it will be the sales. So we will have to bring it sales over here and click on apply filter. And what we were going to get is the top five sales, right? So that is something which is very, very easy. I can then go ahead, stop it and I can work it. Uh, without any issue. So that is a very basic scenario where you can basically go ahead and start utilizing it. So what I'll do is uh, over here, I will just put like a scenario number one. Um, so I'll just bring it down and I will say one dot and this will be using top n in filters section. Right, so I'll just bold it. So this is the first scenario that we are having. And if you are not able to see it because it is very um, small, I'll just increase the size. Okay. Using top end in the filter section. So that is our one, right? And uh, I'll just move it up. Okay. So after that, what do we have is basically we can go ahead and uh, use the tax table. So over here, if I show you or before even the tax table, let me show you the second scenario using the tax function. So in the tax, we have uh, basically a function called rank, right? Using the rank also, we can get it. So for that, what I'll do is I create a new measure. So where is that? This is the right DEX expression. Okay. So what it does is uh, top five sales, right? So in this case, what we use is the function called as rank X, right? And here we will going to use the all orders uh, subcategory, right? Over here. 
because this is the field that we want, right? And uh, that is based on the sales. Um, all orders this. So this is this. And then what we have is the sum of sales because we need to write an expression for that. And uh, then it expects basically the, um, what it is expecting is the value. So over here, you know, the value that we need to provide uh, in this case, we don't have to provide it. So I'll just put a comma and uh, simply write the descending over here, right? And uh, after that, I'll just close it. Okay. So this is basically our uh, rank. So if I just enter it, top five sales rank. I'll just say rank so that it is clear. Now what I can do is I'll just create the same table subcategory and the sales. Okay. And I add rank as well. So if you see right now, what happens is it is giving rank to everyone, right? So the reason it is doing is because of uh, this, this uh, filter context where the rank is only getting associated to the accessories, then it comes over here. Or you can say that row context in this case, right? So to correct that behavior, what do we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to write, wrap it around. I just wanted to show you that this error will come and how to correct it. So calculate sum of sales, right? So what it does is it basically allows, uh, you know, this this to be considered as the entire table and iterate over each row and then evaluate the result, not like uh, one result for one row. So in this case, if you see the row rank is this, so I can, what I can do is I can sort it like this. So we have the very clear rank, right? Rank number one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So that way we have the rank function. Now, what do we need is we basically put the, uh, we create the if function. So if function basically says that if my rank is uh, less than or equals to five, then only give me the output, otherwise not. So that way we can reduce it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll create a new measure. So the measure is uh, over here, the uh, top five, sorry, top five sales values okay if right so over here what do we have is the top five sales rank is less than equals to five then give me the sales or i can say sum of sales okay close it all right top five sales value let me just put it over here so what do i get the value to here right now you can see. So if I just remove this and remove this, what I get is the same value. If you see this value and over here, the total will be different because here it is getting limited and here it is basically taking the total. So in this case, we can remove the total come over here and make sure we uncheck the total and we uncheck the total over here. And that way we get our top five values. Well, if we want to get the total, then there is a different workaround to get it. So for now, what I'm focusing is we have it by, via the rank function. So if you see uh, this one, I'll just copy and paste so that I don't have to write it and format it again uh, using rank and if, right? The third one is uh, the third one is by basically using the table. So what I'll do is I'll go over here, right? and expand this and over here what do we what we can do is we need to basically create a new table and uh, that will basically help us get the top five values so i'll just show you how you can do that all right so for that third scenario let's click on the new table in the new table top five subcategory sales right and here we will going to use the top end function where we will going to let's say write five over here and then we need to add a table so for that we will going to use something called as summarize which basically helps us get the new table 
So summarize the information from orders by taking the subcategory and sales. So we need to get the sales. So we done double quotes by having the sum of sales and close it and close the top N as well. So what do you get is again the information for your top five values, right? So that is the third way how you can get it. And then you can come over here. This table will come automatically top five subcategory values. You can create a table like this, right? Similar type of a table that we were going to create and you can I can just simply go ahead and try to create it one very quickly sales. So over here, uh, let me just put it. Yeah, so over here, our values, so one, two, three, four, five, what I see is, is the bookcases is basically the one. So we have chairs. So we don't get the phones, which is the highest value, but we get the uh, bookcases rather. So 328, we don't, we are not getting the phones over here, which is a challenge in this case, why it is not giving. We are basically saying that, okay, give us the top N by top five, or what I see is top six. Does it give? No, nope. top five. So what I can do is I can just check one more parameter. So we have this n value, we have this table order by expression. So in this case, the expression is sales. So I will say sales and press enter. So now we have the output. So what we were missing is the final output based on the expression. For some reason, it was not taking that. Uh, because we were not explicitly specifying that. So now I think we sh our result should match binders, chairs, phone, storage and tables. Okay, so that's how we have corrected the issue by specifying the sales, which is important for getting the top end values. So that becomes what your third, right? <laughs> so that is the third one. The fourth one is basically I will go ahead and use the transform data option. In the transform data, what we have is the power query. In the power query, what we can do is uh, we have the option of right clicking and uh, we have the option of uh, creating the table, which is more of a reference table Yeah, over here, right? Now in this one, the second one, what we can do is we can uh, basically group it by the sales, right? So we have the option of group by over here, right? So group by what uh, subcategory and uh, new column name is sales. And that is the sum of what sales click. Okay. So we get this table right now from here. We just keep top rows, keep top five and click. Okay. But the only problem is that it does not consider the top or bottom values from a logic perspective. So what do I need to do is I need to first make sure I sort it in descending order, right? Now I go here and say keep top five. <laughs> okay, so that way directly from the table itself, we get this one. So I'll just click on close and apply. And that basically gives me directly from there. So that way, if you have any scenario where for multiple reasons or for multiple scenarios, you need top, top five uh, by various different dimensions, right? You can basically create multiple reference table. That way, whenever the data will be updated in orders, the second table will be automatically updated. So that is basically your third scenario. The fourth scenario is, uh, sorry, fourth scenario was this one, Power Query. The fifth scenario is finally the dynamic scenario. So if you see over here, what do we have is the rank function, right? So over here, if you remember what we did was first we created the rank, then we created the if condition where we are passing the value five. So here we can actually pass uh, a dynamic value rather than five. We can pass, let's say three, five, ten, whatever we want, right? 
So for that, what do we do is we come over here in modeling, click on new parameter, numeric range, uh, top n, let's just give it a name, minimum, let's keep it 1, increment y1, maximum, let's just keep it 10 maybe, and create the slicer. So what do we have is the top n over here, okay, and uh, then what I can do is, uh, where is that top n, right? So top n value. So in the rank function now over here in the if condition, what I can basically pass on is the top n value, okay. So now if I just increase 5. 6. I'll just expand that. 3. Top 3, right? Top 2. Top 8. Top 10. Okay. So this becomes our fifth scenario where our top values are getting dynamically reflected over here. And uh, that basically concludes all of our scenarios, the five scenarios what I explained um, to create the top values. I hope you enjoyed this session. Let me know if you have any question. We resolved a lot of issues over here. So we saw that. And uh, now I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.